Hello lords and ladies, this is our king, and today we're playing some more The Walking Dead. In the last episode, we did stuff. We did a lot of stuff. We fought zombies. We fought two zombies? Yeah, we fought like two zombies or something. How do I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Point of view, just like... Sheesh. <laughs> I thought I heard a police siren on this game. I'm like, wait a minute, that shouldn't be... Let's see if we can talk to the ladies. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Okay, just checking. Let's see. Let's see what's over here in the barn, if we can talk to anybody in here. I don't think so. Thought the old man might be in here. Nope. Our leg looks a little bit better. This is a... Like, it would be kind of cool if they worked him in uh, this... I mean, this is probably... I think this is canon to the comic book since it's set in the same universe. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk to this guy some more. How do I... Oh, oh yeah, we gotta move it. Look at the truck. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Man, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's... A police siren going off right now. Sounds like, no, actually, it's an ambulance. Man, I wonder what's happening. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See, I wasn't sure if I was lying because I couldn't remember if he had kids. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See, that's what I would do. Zombie apocalypse, hop on a boat, find an island, or something like that. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. I'd have gone insane. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's go check on these guys over here, then. There we go. Who to talk okay, let's talk to the dumb boy. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. <laughs> I'll give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Cute. Okay, let's talk to Sean now. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. I'm, I'm not good with manual labor. That it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. 
I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Maker. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Oh, it probably is. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You are welcome, Sean. I, you know, my best friend's name is Sean. Hope. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You know what? No, I was right. This, this, in can this is Ken with the comic books. Um, and we'll, you'll, you'll find out later if you ever read the comic books and uh, get to the part where they're at Herschel's farm. Time to go talk to Herschel in the barn. I kind of like how they give you choices and dialogue and whatnot. Though it kind of does suck that we have a time limit. Puts me on the spot. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Makes me... I'm, I don't want to lie, so it's kind of like... How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. I wasn't really lying, though. <laughs> questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh God, here comes something I knew was gonna happen. I'll get my gun. Oh, lag. Oh God, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember what happened, and I'm not sure. Oh God, do I? I have to save Duck. He's just a kid. Okay, now I. Okay, I gotta get Sean now. No, don't! Sean, no! Please, help me, please! Dude, I got you, man! No! No! Oh! Oh, man. I wish I could have saved them both. Like, I don't know if Duck would have died if I had just left them there. But, I mean, what was I supposed to do? I mean, Duck's a kid. I, was it just... Ah, uh, decisions. Decisions. I don't know what to do. I hope I did okay, though. Oh, he's gonna be so pissed. Get out. Yeah, he's pissed. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you, you didn't even try to help. 
I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. I wish I could have saved them both. But he's going to remember I saved his boy, right? Rock in a hard place. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Now, if I remember correctly, this is, I think, referenced in the comic book? I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long since I read the comics. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. dangerous Look Zombie Hey there You friendly Trucks run out of gas Zombie Fuck You ha he d People got to stop shouting, you know? That's not what you do in a zombie movie. You run. <laughs> What? Who helped me? Oh yeah, this is a hot chick. Run! She's good with that gun. I'll admit that. But we'll see how well that helps later on. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. Just pee your pants. They've got kids, Lily. Okay. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. This dude is a jackass. You'll see throughout the entire game. One hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad. It's just a boy. It, Lily, it's... I'll handle him. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. I thought I Everybody was siding with him. Out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. We're at... What the hell are you talking about? What an it's idiot. Written. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. He's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. 
She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. What a dick. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> Time to save him. What, dude? I think he falls down more times. Oh. Okay, got it. He falls down more times than uh that dude from Dead Space. Come on. Oh god, press it harder, press it harder! Oh sweet Christmas. Man. Whew. That is a very well shaped gun. Okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Yep. They were la they heard us. This old man. They're gonna get him. Such an idiot. Is that the military? Probably. No. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh. Dad. Good. Have a heart attack. I don't like you. Oh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. It's so noisy in my house right now. It ticks me off. All right. Let's see what we can find around here. Look at the ATM. It damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Alright, there should be some stuff. Wait, what's this? Ah, energy bar. Gonna need that. Alright. Let's see. Can't go that way. Ah. Uh, before I give. Okay, I wanna give the candy to Clementine. Take another, let's see how many energy bars we can find first before I start giving them out to everybody. Um, we can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. All right. 
photographs. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Okay, let's look at these greeting cards, I guess. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Eh, we'll get there eventually. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta look for, um... Batteries for that. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Who do I want to give the candy bars to? Wait, let's look this way. What? Wait, wait, no. All right, let's talk to her. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. All right, I gotta give her a bar. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I totally guess. fine, man. I'm good. That's good. <laughs> Awkward conversations with kids. So, uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. I know that feeling. I'm not really good okay. with conversation with people. Alright, let's give her a candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Alright, I took care of Clementine, who's my main priority. Now, who... Wait, is that another candy bar? Okay, th sweet, I have three. So I can, uh... Okay, let's talk to these folk. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. He hates me. I hate him. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, him being an ass isn't going to help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. We all do. Yeah, you know, we all have issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh, God. Are you okay? I bet those were his parents. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were. We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Sorry for your loss, man. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. All right, I should probably give him a candy bar, even though he's pretty much a dick. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. All right, now if there was another candy bar, I would so love to give it to the girl. 
Uh, but get some rest, hun. How can I with those things? I'm thinking. Hey, where'd she go? Oh, she's on the other side. See, I want to give it to her. Is there another candy bar around here? Nope. I can either give it to him, or I can give it to her. Are there no more? Man, that sucks. Wait, what's this? Yeah, I got. It's better to give it to him, I guess. Haley, really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Me too. We, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Noisy people outside. They, uh, own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. I was stuck to it. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. Were you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl. I'm about to kill that. my family right now. Because they won't shut up outside. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. These walls are paper thin. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment. When things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Yeah, that's all you can do. You gotta make your choices and you have to live with them. There's no point dwelling on it. Alright. I really wish there was another candy bar around here. Uh, because he could sure use the candy bar more than she could, so I'm gonna give him the candy bar. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah. He needed it more than uh the girl that I'm trying to romance over there does. But we should probably talk to her. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. It's just like my uh, girlfriend, Panda. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. I'm going to stop it here, guys. We'll continue the conversation in the next episode because I can't concentrate with a bunch of annoying idiots outside my door. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.